We're all getting ready to lead this song. Now I'm going to let you know this song is a is a verse from the Bible, Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. All the words are from the Bible. And I think this is a great son on this week where we think of all saints. Because sometimes when we lose somebody we know and we love, it's important to hear from the Bible to be strong and courageous. And today, as we sing this song, we think of one particular person who, who Bethel knows and loves so dearly. And we think of Pastor Van. As we approach the anniversary of his death, we're going to sing this song in honor of him. So in 2007 or 2006, I started helping with Vacation Bible School with Pastor Van, and I helped, and Lisa Rudiman, of course, but I helped uh, with the songs, and it was really awesome. And so in 2007, we learned this song at Vacation Bible School, and Pastor Van and his daughter, Caitlin, and I helped lead it, and it's one of my favorite songs. Um, Pastor Van was a mentor to me, he was a friend, but he also uh, had such a ministry here at Bethel, not just for the adults, but especially the youth. And really, we are all his legacy. What we are doing here today, what's happening here right now, is Pastor Van's legacy. So, I'm excited to be sharing this song, not just us sharing with you, but today we would like you all to stand up, and we are going to learn this song together, all right? So I'll tell you just a little bit. Kids, can you help show the actions? Let me stand up here. This song is very easy. Joshua 1.9 says, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You got it? So all we got to do is be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. And then there's the terrified part and a discouraged, you can just follow along on that. But that's all you gotta know, all right? congregation may be seated. Everyone up here, you can stay standing. We're going to play a little game today, all right? So when you, when I say something that you've done, you can be seated, okay? But if you didn't do it, stay standing. You ready? If you lied in the past week, you can have a seat. If you lied in the past week, you can have a seat. Okay? I should be sitting myself here. If you 
said a bad word this past week. You can have a seat. All right, so keep, keep seated if you've either lied or you said a bad word. Okay, if you took someone's toy this past week and played with it yourself without asking, you can have a seat. <clears throat> or if you didn't share your own toys with someone who wanted to share with you, you can have a seat. This past week. Okay, we're getting somewhere. If you even had a bad thought this past week, like something that wasn't a good thing to think about, you can have a seat. Okay, now if you said something that wasn't right in the past month, you can have a seat. Okay, we're getting somewhere. If you, um, if you took uh, something without asking in the past year, you can have a seat. Siblings are saying, yes, you did, sit down. <laughs> if you um, got mad at somebody and, and said something in your mind that you didn't say out loud, but you said it in your mind that you shouldn't have thought in the past year, you can have a seat. Okay. If, <clears throat> let's see. If in your lifetime you had a bad thought or you said something wrong or you did something you shouldn't have a seat. And if you're lying right now, everybody have a seat. Everybody have a seat. Everybody sit down. Here we go, everybody sitting down. Now even those of us who think that we're still standing, we can all have a seat here now. My guess is that if everybody out here did that too, they'd all be sitting too. But you know what? Today, only the people that right now are standing are going to get candy. So they're the only ones that earn candy. The rest of us, the rest of us who did those wrong things, no, 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 stay seated. I saw you sit down. Those of us that said those wrong things, did those wrong things, or even thought those wrong things, we didn't earn our candy today, so we don't get any candy. So nobody gets candy today. What about that? I want to ask you, for those of us who thought that we were standing towards the end, do you think anybody really would still be standing? No. And if they were standing, they might, might, might not be remembering what they did wrong, or they might be lying about that, right? Now that's kind of bad too, isn't it? What if, let's, let's have a seat, let's have a seat. What if that's the way God's love worked? What if, what if God only loved those who never had a bad thought, never said anything wrong, or never did anything wrong? Do you think God would, do you think God would love us? If we, if we had to earn God's love, do you think... That if, if we never did anything wrong, never said anything wrong, that those, only those people would get God's love. Would that make us feel really good? No. Because we probably would never get it, would we? No. But luckily today, we hear that that's not how God's love works, right? Even when we sin, even when we do things wrong, even when we say wrong words or have even bad thoughts... God's love for us doesn't leave us. God still loves us. So to remember that, we're going to all get a piece of candy, even though we've said those wrong things and done those wrong things. We're all going to get a piece of candy to remember that God loves us no matter what, okay? So let's have a prayer. Can everyone fold their hands? And can you repeat after me? Dear God, Dear God thank, you thank you for loving us, for loving us even, though even though we don't, we don't deserve it. In Jesus, name we pray. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.